Before the outbreak of World War II, Canada's attempts to enter the aircraft engine field were modest and largely unsuccessful. The country lacked a strong industrial foundation, and there was little national support for this ambitious undertaking. Canadian aircraft builders relied primarily on engines imported from the United Kingdom and the United States. However, when supply chains came under threat during wartime attacks, the vulnerability of this dependence became clear. The need for an indigenous engine manufacturing capability emerged as a matter of both industrial self-sufficiency and national security. With the conclusion of World War II, Canada's government recognized the importance of domestic engine research and began transferring engine development responsibilities from the public sector to private industry. In 1946, Avro Canada took over the government-founded Turbo Research Organization, establishing its gas turbine division in Malton, Ontario. This group developed the Chinook, Canada's first home-designed jet engine, which successfully underwent its first test run in March 1948. Only three Chinook engines were built, but the project provided essential technical training for Canadian engineers and laid the groundwork for more powerful, ambitious projects in the years ahead. Building on the foundation set by the Chinook, Avro's next significant achievement was the development of the Orenda turbojet engine. Intended to power the CF-100 Canuck Interceptor, the Orenda ran for the first time in February 1949 and quickly earned the distinction of being the most powerful turbojet engine in the world at the time. Over the course of a decade, nearly 4,000 Orenda engines were produced, powering both Canada's CF-100 Canuck and the Canadair Sabre, which became key fixtures of Canadian and Allied air forces. The Orenda project provided Canada's aircraft industry with a boost of confidence, industrial capability, and export success. The momentum generated by the Orenda turbojet led to the ambitious CF-105 Aero project in the mid-1950s. In response, Orenda's engineers designed the Iroquois engine, an enormously powerful and advanced jet engine intended for supersonic, high-altitude excellence. For a brief period, the Iroquois claimed the title of the world's most powerful jet engine. Yet this era of indigenous innovation came to a sudden halt in 1959, when both the Aero aircraft and the Iroquois engine program were cancelled in a sweeping government decision. The end of these programs marked a dramatic watershed in Canada's aviation history, effectively ending large-scale domestic development of advanced military engines. After the cancellation of the Aero and Iroquois programs, Avro Canada's gas turbine division was spun off as an independent company named Orenda Engines Lilted. Despite its achievements, including the delivery of thousands of Orenda engines in the 1950s, the company saw its ambitions shrink as government funding and support disappeared. In 1962, Orenda Engines was transferred to Hawker Sidley Canada Avro Canada's parent company, and its focus shifted toward the repair and overhaul of aircraft engines rather than new development. Orenda's role as a pioneering innovator came to an end, and Canada's hopes for independent military jet engine manufacturing diminished as the company shifted its focus to servicing existing engines for the Royal Canadian Air Force and other clients. Though its development role diminished after the 1950s, Orenda Engines survived as a significant player in aircraft engine maintenance and manufacturing. Initially born from Avro Canada's gas turbine division, using expertise gained from turbo research, the Orenda Engine project evolved rapidly from its 1946 beginnings. By 1949, Orenda had built one of the world's most powerful jet engines, equipping iconic Canadian planes such as the CF-100 Canuck and the Canadair Sabre. After 1959, Orenda continued as a repair and overhaul firm and later took on new manufacturing assignments, including building General Electric jet engines under contract for the Canadian military. Magellan Aerospace acquired the company in the 1980s, renaming it Orenda Aerospace and concentrating on engine maintenance and precision components for top manufacturers. 
Orenda also entered the industrial gas turbine market and attempted to develop general aviation piston engines in the 1990s. Notably, the name Orenda itself carries the indigenous meaning, tribal soul on the right path, symbolizing a proud Canadian heritage. While Avro Canada and Orenda's ambitions in engine development wound down, Pratt & Whitney Canada, PwC, was rising to global prominence. Established in 1928 to support and assemble engines originally made in the U.S., PwC quickly grew into a leader in the design and manufacture of small and medium aircraft engines. By the early 1950s, production of the famous WASP series of engines was transferred from the U.S. parent company to Canada allowing the U.S. firm to focus on jet propulsion while PwC specialized in propeller and small turbine engines. Despite being a subsidiary of its U.S. parent, PwC maintains its own research, development, and manufacturing capabilities. The company took the name United Aircraft of Canada in 1962, finally becoming Pratt & Whitney Canada in 1975. Its rise was achieved not through acquisitions, but by internal innovation, most notably with the development of the PT-6 engine family, which revolutionized the market for regional and business aircraft. One of PwC's most recognized achievements in recent times is the PW-100, PW-120, and PW-127 series, powering the ATR regional aircraft and setting industry standards for fuel efficiency, durability, and low maintenance. As of 2022, the advanced PW-127XTM continues this legacy with improved performance. Today, PwC is also pushing into hybrid electric and sustainable engine technologies. Beyond Avro, Orenda, and PwC, several other companies are integral to Canada's engine industry. GE Aerospace Canada maintains a strong presence with facilities in Ontario and elsewhere, supporting the development and servicing of both civilian and military engines. Magellan Aerospace, now the owner of Orenda, specializes in engine components and integrated systems. Companies like Cell Aerospace and MTU Maintenance Canada are important in engine testing and maintenance, and Canadian firms are now investing in breakthrough propulsion technologies. The focus is on hybrid electric, hydrogen-powered, and thermally efficient engines that support more sustainable aviation. Canada's journey in aircraft engine production began with significant challenges and reliance on foreign technology. The post-war era brought about a heroic effort to build national capacity, culminating in remarkable technical achievements, above all at Avro Canada and Orenda. The cancellation of the Aero and Iroquois projects ended an era of independent military engine development, but this legacy paved the way for Canadian expertise in servicing, maintaining, and innovating aircraft engines. Today, Canada is a global leader in regional and business aircraft engine design and manufacturing, primarily through Pratt & Whitney Canada. The country's engine industry continues to evolve, with new research focusing on efficiency, climate impact, and sustainable aviation solutions, keeping Canada at the forefront of global aerospace innovation. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Also, please take our channel membership, which is very affordable, to encourage us.